all V4 as you can think of right now are most likely only motorcycle engines, as there is more than plenty of them, but an automobile one, you are good if you can come up with more than two. With such an ordinary cylinder number, it is an extremely rare layout, and these six were the only known ones to be used. MEMZ965 Soviet Union was amongst the few ever to use a V4 engine in a mass-produced car, the ZAZ Zaporozhets. Similarly to the Beetle or Trabant, it was a people's car with a rear-mounted air and oil-cooled unit. During that time, three engine displacements were used, starting at 750cc up to a 1.2 liter with a magnesium alloy engine block. Ford Taunus V4 The Taunus engine was designed by Ford's German branch in the early 60s. It featured an iron block and head, and even firing intervals with split crankpins. Saab tested this engine as well, and started using it as a more reliable power plant equivalent to the two-strokes. Besides Ford's and Saab's, it could have been found in a French sports car named as the Matra 530. M422 Mighty Might. This Mighty Might truck was manufactured by AMC only to be used by US Marine Corps. It had an aluminum frame, all around independent suspension, and a real limited slip diff with inboard drum brakes. On top of that was a decently power rated air cooled engine, which was more than enough for this lightweight mini off road. Porsche 919 Hybrid The Porsche 919 debuted in 2014 and was extensively modified for the 2015 season due to reliability issues. The name retained, as did the engine, a 2-litre V-shaped 4-cylinder with a front electric motor and exhaust energy recovering system via a turbocharger. Except the premier year, it won the championship three times in a row. <laughs> Lancia V4 Lancia's V4 is one of the longest living automobile engines ever. Since 1922, it underwent various modifications, with a V angle from 10 to 20 degrees, displacing 903cc up to a 2.6 litre. They were called Lambda, Artena, Augusta, Aprilia, Ardia, Appia, and Fulvia according to a car it was designed for. All of them had a single head, aluminium block, and some were slanted 45 degrees sideways in a front-wheel drive layout.
for the SX V4. The Ford SX was originally a V4 engine, but a 6 cylinder derivation came out a couple of years later. The 4 banger had a 60 degree V angle and shared crank pins, which caused an uneven firing. Therefore, the engine fired like a boxer equivalent and sounded rough. It was only a 1.7 or 2 litre, both used alongside the Tornus unit. 